Hello guys from Tam Cock, a small little town just outside of Ninh Binh in the north of Vietnam. Now right behind me is a boat that we're going to be taking towards what is known as the Ha Long Bay on land. Now ever since Leanne and I have been doing our research of Vietnam, this has been one of the places that we have been wanting to come to because of its pure beauty and thinking that we are right now about to go on this boat through probably one of the most beautiful places here in Vietnam is so surreal. I can't do this! <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't believe we're actually here. Today we are also going to be exploring a little bit of Tam Kok and the outside areas and see what this place is all about. I think that's where we got to get our tickets. There's quite a few people waiting here already to take some tourists. Which is us? I've lost Leanne. <laughs> I thought you were behind me. I lost you for a second. <laughs> How are you? I'm um, just for two people, please. Yes, it's about total 390 for two. Yes, please. First things first, did you need a lap jacket? You won't miss me. <laughs> I'll definitely stand up now. When I put one of these things on, I always feel like I'm directing traffic. <laughs> <laughs> come, come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come, come, come. <laughs> I think you need another one. <laughs> Try this one. Oh, and this one fits better. I think we should swap last jackets. <laughs> Shotgun. Like, look how small yours is compared to mine. Shotgun. How many people? Two people. Two people. Take it for the boat. Thank you. Okay, cool. Bye, Ta. It is a little bit of chaos here. There's no queue, so we don't know when we get on a boat or not. I guess we just wait in front of one until we get to climb on it. Oh, wow, this thing kind of feels a little bit unstable. Oh, here we go. Woo! <laughs> So we've got one driver with us, he's obviously the one that's driving the boat. I've got a small little spot here in front. And I've got a nice little spot here at the back. You could basically fit four people on this, but we've got it to ourselves. There was a sign busy saying that for foreigners you can put two people per boat, but for the Vietnamese, four people per boat. So I don't know if that's because the Vietnamese people are a lot smaller <laughs> than foreigners. <laughs> But I think we're Vietnamese size, so <laughs> we technically should be four on a boat. <laughs> Check out guy using his feet. Oh, he what? Feet. Oh. <laughs> this? Up with that? Oh, okay, I can take my life jacket off. <laughs> Make it more comfortable. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't topple over though. But you run with your feet. <laughs> How crazy is that? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Then you don't get sore hands. Oh, that's very clever. Exercising the feet, I'm sure it's a lot easier than using your arms. And like you said, you won't get calluses on your hands. Ah, oh, harder. Yeah. <laughs> what, what's your name? Bitch. Bitch. Yeah. Bitch, your name? Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Bui. Bui. Or bitch. 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 Uh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes the names are so hard to pronounce, I'm probably going to forget that in like the next two seconds. <laughs> San Chao. So right now we're actually rowing down the Ngo Dong River and we're going to be seeing three caves when we go down this river and Tum Kok actually means three caves. Ah. <laughs> Oh, oh, you take okay. a photo? Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> I'll take down my life jacket. <laughs> Ooh. He's still using his feet to row. <laughs> okay, must you smile? Yeah. <laughs> You're there multitasking. You Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. We had a new cameraman there for a moment. <laughs> I don't know, I have a slight feeling we're going to be greeting plenty of people today if it's anything like our other experiences like in Hoi An. 
It's so cute, the start of this little journey, because it feels like you're actually rowing through the town. Like, this little river is meandering through all of these buildings. Like, just to the side of us is actually a restaurant. Hello. I think we're about to enter like one of the most scenic parts of this entire boat ride. This is incredible. Photo, oh, photo, very nice, eh? You want to take another photo? Another photo. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Dumb gog. <laughs> We're starting to approach the limestone cliffs. They are literally so tall. They go up like 90 degrees right next to us. And meandering through this is absolutely incredible. It's so peaceful just like being on this boat because everyone's just so silent and taking in like the scenery around them. And the boat is so low to the water that you just hear the water just passing by. And it's just, I don't know, so tranquil and peaceful. I love it. So up there is actually Hang Mua, which we're going to go to later so that we can actually get a good view of this like entire scenery or this landscape that we're actually in right now because I think it's even more beautiful from on top there than it actually is from down here. <laughs> Our first cave that we're going through, so remember I said Tam Kok means three caves? So this is the first of three caves that we're going through today and the longest because it's 127 meters and if I'm not mistaken this is the Ka Cave. Are we actually going through the caves? We're going through Like we're the not caves. going next to it, we're actually going through. We're going through the caves. <laughs> cool! Is good? Is good? Ah, we have approval. <laughs> Obviously the water has just flowed through this area and because the limestone on the mountain is actually super soft the water has just formed this cavity and that's what's created this cave. Here we go! <laughs> How incredible is this? You can actually see the stalactites just hanging. All little baby ones. This is so beautiful. I think these are one of the first caves that I'm seeing that doesn't actually have a flat roof. Like everything, every little part of the roof has got a stalactite. Wow! It just seems to be getting better and better. I thought there were other activities that we've done here in Vietnam that were the highlight of my trip so far but this, this is the highlight for me. How incredible is Vietnam? It's incredible. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, climbing out of our very first cave, this is the part that is like Tam Kok is famous for and why people are coming here. The beautiful grass on the left and the right with the super tall limestone rocks. It's just incredible. You're surrounded, just surrounded by these ginormous mountains. I know that there are going to be so many other activities that we're going to be doing here in the north that will probably be just as beautiful, but so far, this is the highlight of my trip so far. Hey guys, we'd just like to give you a reminder that we are busy having a Vietnam buddy moon tour at the end of the year where we get to go on holiday with you. Now this activity that we are on right now is actually part of the itinerary and it's something that you really do not want to miss out on. So we're not only going to be visiting Ninh Binh but we're also going to be visiting the bustling city of Hanoi and we're also going to be taking a luxury relaxing cruise in Ha Long Bay. Now we do have payment plans available for this tour so it means that you will not have to pay for everything at once. We will leave all the information in the description below but also remember that there are limited spots available so you best be quick in booking your yeah. spot. Go book your tickets right now and see you in Vietnam. See you in Vietnam. Uh, I can try. Yeah. I can try. <laughs> I must take shoes off. I think let me take shoes off it might be easier right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll see if I can try and uh, ride this boat with my feet. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so hard. <laughs> okay, bring first, eh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're going to slow everyone down behind us. I am. So I've got to bring... 
I gotta bring it towards me and then I gotta push. Whoa! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> Not as easy as it looks. Oh, Ooh. Right, let me do this all then. Sorry! <laughs> Can you do this? You're a hazard. Hold on. Can you just steer us right first? Okay, I'm gonna do this with my hands first, then. Eh? Oh, this is so hard. <laughs> I, I, no, I can't do this. I can't. I can't do this. <laughs> that is so much harder than it looks. <laughs> oh, mind your head. I can literally touch the top of the cave. That's how low this is. Check. <laughs> We're in the second cave called the Tamahai Cave and it's only 70 meters long. We're really having to keep our head low on this one. <laughs> I think if the river had to get any higher, you wouldn't be able to come through this cave. It's incredible. I don't really know where to look. Everywhere is just incredible. Like, do I look at that mountain or do I look at that mountain or do I just look at the landscapes? It's like super confusing because it's all just beautiful. There's even a cave at the top there. Oh, there's a cave. We are now approaching our third and final cave known as Hangba Cave. I think this is going to be the lowest one out of them all. And the shortest one out of them all. Only 45 meters long. Are you ready? Uh, this one's incredibly low. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna crash. Boom! <laughs> we're crashing. <laughs> there is really not a lot of space. <laughs> oh, I tried to catch some cave water. <laughs> I think dabs are in the past, Daniel. I'm cool, I'm fresh. <laughs> Wait. Da 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 da. I'm the one and only D A N D. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Well, even though there are loads of people doing this tour, honestly, it felt like we had that whole place to ourselves and just got to enjoy it for ourselves. Very good. So right now we're just gonna go and scooter around Tampok and we're also gonna go and visit other areas around here but Ooh. we're gonna go and visit an area called Trang An because we've been told that that's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and also a place that we cannot miss while we're here. Hello Mr. Buffalo. Oh, <laughs> I'm always super scared to ride around buffaloes because I feel like they're going to attack me. Oh, what are they doing here? Is this the amazing race? Are we in the amazing race? We're right in the now. amazing race. <laughs> Definitely filming something. Do you know someone with a car? With a car? Yeah. No. Uh, unfortunately not. No. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> We're that part is of the amazing so race! so cool! I want to do the amazing race. Can somebody please enter me? Shame, she really needed a car and I don't know how else to help her. We got a scooter. But now you can see some behind the scenes. Check, run, run, run. Run, run, run. I think the cameraman has the hardest job. I guess I think part of that challenge is to actually try and find a ride somewhere yeah and they probably have no money or something like that <laughs> but now you know that the amazing race is legit it is not <laughs> fake <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Gosh, I almost fell off there. How? Because my feet came off of the, the pedals. Are you Ooh. okay? Yeah. The shocks are definitely not good on this bike. I literally bounced right off there. <laughs> Ooh, okay. <laughs> They're busy drying some rice or some wheat on the road. Sun chow. Yeah, it's more. So in this area, it looks like you can actually take a boat ride through like another cave system. But I'm really glad with the one that we chose this morning because it looks like all the tour buses are coming to this one. Are you ready? Ready! This is a lot louder than ours. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> <laughs> He's matching how I'm hooting. <laughs> I'm looking for roads that no tourist ventures, and I think I have found one. <laughs> wow! It's like one little sand road in the middle of like these lilies and rust fields. But look in front of us, this is incredible. There's just all of these huge mountains that are surrounding us. So after spending basically 45 minutes trying to look for this place, which is called Hang Mua, we have finally arrived. <laughs> and we're coming here because it actually has a viewpoint, a place that is about 468 stairs high. So before actually going up to the viewpoint, they have this whole little area that you can take photos with the water lilies. It's really pretty. Kelly, we have come at the wrong time. Check out the amount of people that are here. Wait to take a photo. Okay, we can go. This seems literally just to be like a little lily farm, but because it's so flat and the mountain stands so tall, I think it's kind of become a little bit of a tourist spot. Just don't fall. So they have like these photo opportunity spots, and I guess this is one. Luckily, bamboo strong. I hope so. Feels a bit wiggly. I think I'm gonna come back. Okay, smile there, baby. <laughs> One, two, three, photo. <laughs> That's very wobbly, and I don't want to be the one person who actually falls into the water. And here starts our journey up. 486 stairs to the viewpoint, and I cannot wait to see what it looks like from on top there. Ooh, I'm really tired, and we've done like 10. <laughs> These are actually quite steep. Oh, we've definitely come at a time where there's a lot of people. You can see over here, they have walls built up the stairs, and that's because it's been inspired by the Great Wall of China. We're getting small views. If the views are like this now, can you imagine how beautiful they're going to be at the top? No, see, no, 41. 42, 143, 144. And he's trying to grab my hand and take me to the top. I don't know if he's being helpful or flirty. There's goats! <laughs> Look at them! I think this is the same guy I tried to hold the end's hand. Say <laughs> goodbye. Okay. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Are we going up this way or that way? Leanne feels so awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh. So there is two viewpoints. There's one there and another one there. We're going to the highest one because I'm guessing it's probably going to have the same views. I have a feeling coming down is going to be more challenging than going up. 291, 292, see where we were earlier today on the little river but wow from here you just get the whole aerial view over this area it's hard to appreciate the beauty when you're gasping for air but wow we wanted to see the views on the other side of this rock and seeing that many people are going there we're gonna try and see if we can get a little bit higher this is definitely not the easiest viewpoint to get to I mean we're basically on rocks now Check where everyone else is, just dangling on rocks. There's no safety rail, so I'm completely open. My legs are like jelly right now because I am not liking the crowds and I'm definitely not liking the height being so exposed. It's chaos. I think everyone's wanting to see the dragon. Like there's a little dragon arch on top of the rocks or on top of the mountain. And I think everyone just wants to go there to take a photo. Well, I guess so do we, but I don't know if we're going to come out. Yep, uh, I'm going. <laughs> Leanne's quit. I've made it yet to the top, kind of. And this is the views. Incredible. No, those crowds were not for me. My life is not worth the risk. <laughs> So that ends our day here in Tamcock slash Nanbin and this place is incredibly beautiful. It's a place we've always wanted to come to and I cannot believe that it's now ended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty sad that it's ended but I'm really grateful that we got the opportunity to be here. But if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe. Maybe even consider leaving a super thanks and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> <laughs>